What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Subliminal here with the Drake Cutter Scout variant. This is going to be a pretty quick first look because, I mean, it's not that much different than the regular cutter. But if you're interested in the ship, and it seems like it might be a good idea to get this one over the base cutter, uh, then stick around and uh, let's take a look at it. So I know a little bit about the ship because I've already checked it out on Urkel. It's got gimbaled size one weapons, two gimbaled size one weapons. Up top, you've got the scouting dish, and it does kind of move and articulate when you power the ship on. Right now, the ship is on, engines off, so it's sticking up a little bit. You can see the little scissor lift. Let me go into this view so you can see it better. I have veto mode on right now. So the engines are pointed down. As you guys probably saw from the video, instead of like one bigger thruster, it's two smaller thrusters uh, on there. Not that big of a deal. It's got a spoiler on the back, which people are, are looking like they love. But other than that, it's really the same. I can confirm that the skins are interchangeable. I had the option to put on the white and yellow skin uh, that I own on the cutter. And yeah, it's um, it's pretty dope. I mean, it's the outside is, is really the same except for the dish and the spoiler. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the ramp here. And we're going to get to basically the only changes. And, and check this out, boys. This is the craziest part. We actually just found this out. I didn't notice this. They probably mentioned, dur mentioned it during sitcom. These are size 2 components. That's a size 2 cooler. And that's a size 2 power plant. So this thing requires more power. So I guess it requires more cooling is, is what, what we're going with. I think that's pretty cool. But the regular cutter doesn't. The regular cutter um, has size 1 components. I, th I think that that's pretty pretty cool. You got the same component cages for the components that we don't quite have yet. And we got the terminal there. But let me let me look at these first. Um, that's a battery, ain't it? That's the power plant. Battery and a size one quantum drive. So no bigger quantum drive. Yeah, battery. It says battery right there. I'm blind. But, the, but yeah, so they're using the power plant... Um, geometry uh model the, the power plant model for the battery which is confusing the hell out of me and a shield generator and of course they can all be opened up and yeah so then we could take those components out if we wanted to i don't think we could do that yet in game all right um here we have the scanning terminal and of course the standard fashion is we can't access it but of course there's no scanning so all you get are four MFDs. Let me turn Toby on real quick so you guys so can look around. What do you guys do who don't have Toby? Toby.subliminal.gg. Check it out. Yeah, love it. So I can manipulate power from here? Maybe not. Can I do anything? All right, we could do some things. This might be just bugged. I don't know. All right, let's hop off of this. But I thought that was pretty cool, though. And then from here on out, it's the same ship. Chad, did you guys notice anything different? Personal storage down here at the bottom, I thought. I think it has. Yeah, it's the same ship. I don't notice a difference. Although I haven't been in, in the cutter very much since my first look of it. Oh the, oh, the inventory doesn't come up because I'm an arena commander. That's why. Maybe that's why I couldn't get into that inventory either. 
then here you get to the to the bridge got your components weapon rack yeah so basically all you lose in this is two SCU but you gain scanning and I don't know about you guys but in my opinion as a new player I don't really care as much about two SCU I'd rather have the space the space is gonna be the same but this also gives you better scanning capabilities which doesn't mean anything right now but I don't know let me know what you guys opinions are down in the comment but uh, down in the comment section below on if you think that it's a no-brainer to upgrade from the cutter to this for everybody in pretty much every scenario that's where I'm leaning right now is everyone should everyone who owns a cutter should upgrade to this I think it's like five bucks here let me look around the some of you may not have seen the cutter at all Yeah, love it. Oh, dude, I love the, the little stores at the top, the little bag. Uh, I could take it for a little test flight, but I'm not going to spend too much time with it because I'm sure most of you guys have either flown the cutter, the, the base cutter, and it seems to fly the same. Oh, um, this is cool. It's got a, like a, a security flap. The regular cutter has that too. Just pointing that out for anybody who hasn't seen. I'm just so used to having it bound with the with the NXTs, you know. All right. Yep. This pad is bugged. You have to boost to get off of it. It's also kind of a land without it sliding off I don't know how that got past this new arena commander kind of hard to do a test flight honestly here. So, good flying ship for a starter I like it Still got the pea shooters. Also, let me know in the comments, what do you think the, the, the next variant of the cutter is going to be? I'm kind of hoping it's a fighter variant because it doesn't make sense that Drake is going to make a ship that isn't armed to the teeth for its size. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Uh, just to show you guys the articulation. With the dish. Dope. And of course, you guys saw the veto mode. Your old medical type. A lot of people are 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 uh, hoping for medical. This has two less SCU of cargo space. Two less SCU of cargo. Up and out. Yep. Yeah, where, I guess these are the two cargo spots. Did they give you grenades too? What? Oh, cargo bay area. No, this one. Oh, duh. I'm looking for two squares. So that's why I thought it was this and this and that and that. But no, it's just stacks right here. Makes sense. So you can walk around your couple of SCU boxes and then you got your terminal there. So it almost kind of be like a little nook. Yeah, yeah, this is cool, man. I think I recommend if you're uh, if you're new to the game, welcome to the verse. I think that this is a good starter ship for if you don't necessarily want to get into too much combat. If you're if you're not really too much into the combat, this is this is a, a good way to go. This is a good a good basic starter packet. Cutter steel, don't don't you talk that mess. All right. 